This video tutorial demonstrates some basic usage of NTRAX and how to use background modeling for object detection. We have a video here which shows some ants on a stone background. They are clearly visible, so this is a rather easy tracking task. Let's select a time window from frame 700 to 800 for this demonstration. Because the ants have such a good contrast to the background, we will use background subtraction here. First, we have to generate a background model, which we can do with the background extractor in the Tools menu. Note that the time window and region of interest are taken from your selection in the main window. We just use 100 frames here. Depending on the speed, size and the density of the foreground objects, you might want to take longer time windows, but this suffices for now. Just select the average min-max method and click Start. Entrex has now generated three images. An average image over the time window, where you can actually still see the trace a bit. Then a minimum image, which consists of the darkest color found for each pixel over the time window. And a maximum image, which consists of the brightest color found for each pixel. Because the ants are darker than the background, the maximum image is devoid of any ants and shows only the empty background, exactly as we wanted. So we save this image now and leave the background extractor. Note that you can also use the histogram-based background modeling. That method takes more time to extract the background, but it gives you more flexibility to build the background model. In case the results from the average, min and max images are not good enough, you can use it to calculate the median image or any other brightness percentile. Back in the main window, select background subtraction image, now as frame acquisition method. And as background image, load the image we have just generated. Since the ends are always darker than the background, we can set that as additional parameter to improve detection results. In the processed view, the ends are now highlighted as differences to the background image. Let's adjust the intensities and apply a Gaussian blur. To reduce the noise a bit, we also apply a Gaussian subtraction. As can be seen in the current object stats panel on the bottom, the ants have intensities in the range of 120 and the remaining noise of around 40. So let's apply a threshold of 50. There's still a bit of noise left, and we will filter that out with a blob size filter. The ends have blob sizes of about 200. Let's reduce the lower threshold to 80. Now the ends are being detected, as shown by the green centroid markers, and the noise is discarded. In order to separate ants which are in contact as one cluster, we reduce the upper threshold for a single ant to 250, which splits larger blobs into multiple objects. The parameters seem alright now, so we can start tracking. As you can see, all ends are being detected and tracked. If a trajectory has an interruption, don't worry, this is fixed automatically at the end.
Finally, we save the data for later analysis.